It is fight week. Dimitri Bivol, Gilberto Ramirez, a.k.a. Zerto Ramirez, a.k.a. Cowboy, coming at you, light heavyweight, bout. And uh, obviously, this is a good one, man. This is a really good fight. First off, everybody knows Dimitri Bivol because he beat Canelo Alvarez last. Very good performance, fought really well, won the fight. And Dimitri Bivol, I think, is the longest reigning champion in boxing at a single weight class. I think he has the longest run as being a champion. So that's pretty, uh, pretty, pretty cool stuff for him. But when it comes down to it, I mean, Bivol has been a good fighter. It's not like he just started in this Canelo fight. I saw it when he when he beat Joe Smith. He beat him like 119, 109. So that wasn't even competitive. I, I, I think Bivol is a very good fighter. I think he was very underrated. And I uh, like the way he fought versus Canelo. He's got great balance, really fast feet, very active, uh, great jab, respectable power, not crazy, but definitely respectable. And he's mentally tough. You know, I was there in Vegas and I saw him at the weigh-in and it was like everyone was there pulling for Canelo and he was just calm. And I remember thinking, this guy is 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 is, is he's going to be all right. He was very confident. I remember seeing the fight and I was like, wow. After the first round or two, I'm like, wow, Bivol's like, he's really good, this guy. And like, he's coming to win. He's not intimidated by the moment. And I think a lot of people were are intimidated by the moment with Canelo because there's so many people in the crowd. They're all cheering for Canelo. And Canelo had that fear factor. You know, he was walking guys down, smacking them around, beating them up. Callum Smith, he walked down, beat him up. Yildirim, uh, Billy Joe Saunders, he hit him in the eye. They, they stopped the fight because of the, 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 the punch to the eye. Got the, the Caleb Plant victory. So he, he was striking a lot of fear in people's heart, but he didn't do that with Bivol. So now we get to the Gilbert Ramirez part. Gilbert Ramirez was a 168-pounder. I had no idea how he I have no idea how he made that weight because he looks huge compared to Bivol at 175. This dude has a significant size advantage, in my opinion. And that's why I think he has a better chance than Canelo versus Bivol because even though I don't think Gilbert Ramirez is as good of a fighter as him, as Canelo... He's much bigger and he's much more active and throws a lot more punches. And that would make make this fight interesting. And I like that after the last uh, Gilbert Ramirez fight, Oscar De La Hoya got the ring and he said, we want Bavall. So I think this is a really, really, really good fight. I think that uh, Gilbert Ramirez has a good shot of winning this fight. I know he just came off beating Bavall. I mean, Bavall just came off beating Canelo, but I think Gilbert Ramirez has a really good shot at winning this fight. I am thinking it's, I'm not going to say 50-50. I'm going to say 60-40 in favor of Bivol. I still think Bivol is the favorite. I still will pick him to win. But I think Gilbert Ramirez is a very live dog in this fight. And I'm really looking forward to this fight. This is definitely one of the fights that I uh, look, not, you know, probably my top 10 most uh, anticipated fights this year. I'm going Dimitri Bivol by unanimous decision. And I think that uh, Gilbert Ramirez makes a good account for himself. But it'll be interesting to see because if uh, Bivol beats Gilbert Ramirez, he's fire of the year in my mind. And I think that in everyone's mind, he wins fire of the year because he beat Canelo and Gilbert Ramirez. So to me, that's 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 fire of the year material. I don't think anyone else has a better case for him this year. No, Devin Haney does not have a better case for him because he beat Kimbosis twice. And uh, Fury beat White. And if he beats Chisora, it's not enough. Uh, I don't think Usyk being Joshua is either enough. I mean, at the end of the day, Dimitri Bivo beat the number one guy, Canelo Alvarez. And even if he wasn't at his best weight, he was at light heavyweight, not super middleweight. He still beat him and beat a really good light heavyweight in Gilbert Ramirez if he beats him. Now, if Gilbert Ramirez wins, that's interesting too because he's, I think, 44-0. So he gets to 45-0, beats Bivo, becomes undisputed, not undisputed, becomes champion. That That's that's pretty cool. And maybe he could uh, rival Floyd Mayweather's 50-0 uh, record. Not that I put that much stock into that because if you don't fight the top guys, who even cares? But people do look at that kind of stuff. So that's an interesting piece. I hope Bivol wins just because I want to see that undisputed fight. Arter better be of Dimitri Bivol, all the belts on the line. But let's see if that happens. You know, Gabriel Ramirez, his job for himself, his job is to make sure that we don't get that undisputed fight after this. But hopefully whoever wins the titles, we can get an undisputed fight because that's what I think is the most important in boxing is to see who's the best in every weight class and for the best to fight the best. Let me know what you guys think about this fight. Who are you going with? Are you going with B-Roll or are you going with Ramirez? Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Peace.